This is the new Nook HD, a tablet that's new on the UK market and is trying to differentiate itself from the Nexus 7, from the Amazon Kindle, and from Apple's iPad mini. Now, when you turn on the Nook, the first thing you notice is that it's set up for a number of different users to use a single tablet. So if we log on as Charles, then you'll see that Charles keen on magazines, there's books down here, and when you fire up that magazine, or in this case the Invincible comic, you'll see that it's a very reader-like experience, and that's what Nook is aiming for, where Kindle wants you on their Fire HD model to download films and to read books as well. Nook's aim is that you read magazines on their tablet. It's not the only thing the tablet can do. There is email, there are films, there are books, but they think that reading magazines is the crucial way that they'll be able to capture a market. So if you press up at the top, you'll see you've got a contents panel down here. You can scroll to wherever you want to go. And if you go back to here, then you can see that there's a more conventional uh, zoomed out view. And if, say, you were in a magazine and you found a page that if it were a real magazine, you'd tear it out and keep it, on the Nook, you can simply press the keep button with the as though you were cutting it and pasting it in on a computer and you can attach it to your own personal scrapbook you can give it a name you can share it now this is a new thing that isn't really available in quite the same way on any other tablet that's available but it is also something that is not quite as interactive say as some magazines for the iPad now, aside from magazines, one of the other key features of the Nook is a specific feature aimed at children. And so what you can see here is a profile set up as though it were for a child. You've got specific children's apps. You've got books aimed at children. And this is a locked down version where your kids can't accidentally buy things that you might not want them to, or they can't, uh, for instance, access material you wouldn't want them to see. What we see with the Nook is a tablet at a good price, at £159, the same price as a Nexus 7, as a Kindle Fire HD, doing different things, less flexible than a Nexus 7, but if magazines are your thing, then the Nook is currently, I would say, one of the best options out there.